Yo, yo, what's good? What's good, man? For the people who don't know what's going on, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Step or Die Man. SOD Le Man. Shreveport, yeah. Louisiana, Resident City, 318. Nah, for sure, for sure. Nah, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You one of the hottest niggas from out your section. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you got a lot of fans, you got a lot of controversy, you got a lot of just a lot going on with your name. So take us take us to the beginning. Like, how you get how you get your name Lil Man in your city? They've been since then, like probably since a little baby. Yeah. I've been there. They just what they always call me that. Nah, for sure, for Lil sure. Man. Now bro, I heard like you was like young, 14, with the whip. You know what I'm saying? Had it sitting, sitting crazy on something crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what, what, how that come about? On some of that shit, nigga had like that that went, you know, pulled a little, hit a little stain, some sweet shit. Yeah. Got a couple racks and shit. I was still like in what, middle school. Ended up coming up on Mill Whip and shit. And what kind of car was it? You know, we we be liking them box Chevys and shit. Yeah. So around that time, y'all, they were like 15, I had the box Chevy. Then that bitch was blue on blue. That yeah. bitch was nasty. <laughs> nah, for sure, bro. Now, uh, all right, so, you know what I'm saying? You, that's been your name, little man. You been lit. So, well, I'm going to get to that, but you said it was all blue, like, so what, what's like, what's, what's the blue? Symbolize in Shreveport. Is it like, is it on the some blue, Crip shit? Blue, or is yeah, it? on some Crip shit and on some BBG shit. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, before the BBG shit, like, you know, a nigga, where I'm from, that's all it is, is Crips and shit. So, like, blue, that's our favorite color, blue and yellow. Yeah. So, yeah, they're just, they're just a hometown thing right now. Okay, okay. Now, what was Tuki Williams like? What you know about Tuki Williams and what was his influence on Shreveport? Yeah, he had he had a cool little impact on Shreveport. He had came down there. That was before my time, though, but I had heard about it and shit. So he had came to the city and shit on the Crips shit, fucking with the Crips and shit. Yeah. Came from Cali with it from the West Coast. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, shit, bro, all right. Now, how does S.O.D. come about? How does S.O.D., like, how did it start? Who came up with S.O.D.? Like, what was Man, it? Man, we was young as a bitch. We was all, we really was about all about middle school. This shit probably about, for them be like, what, like 10 years ago. We were Y.H.A.S., Young Hustlers and Shooters. Damn. And shit, we ended up changing the name to Step But I had came up with the S.O.D. shit. I was locked up on a juvenile joke, so shit. I'm like, man, yeah, S.O.D., that's hard. And it's catchy, like, you know, I'm like, you gonna really choose one, you gonna step or you gonna die. So I'm like, yeah, that's a bet. So she said, man, the guy, we took that shit and shit, we ran with it, and that's just what it been ever since, though. Yeah. It's a way of living, though, now, for real, for real, like, you know. You nah, know, for sure. No cap shit. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, now I seen on Ratchet City News, bro, that you and, uh, uh, not, I'm saying little man, you and, uh, God damn, what's bro name? Light skinned nigga. Bankroll. Yeah, bankroll, bro. God damn. You and Bankroll came up with it together, like, so is is that that's that's how that went. Yeah, on, on some shit like that, it's like as soon as I had came home with it, and once we all came up with the conclusion, like, yeah, we're gonna take that around with it, I ended up going back to jail. So shit, bro was still Stamping rapping it. and holding it down. So you yeah. know what I'm saying? He got a he started buzzing too, yeah. Too, so yeah, so you know what I'm saying, like shit, that's all us. Yeah, yeah. Now, where, where does uh Blue Benji Kobe come into play, like? On some shit, like I've been knowing him since we were young, like that Ben Bro. He was from the, from the other side of the city, though. He from a different hood, but I used to be thugging over there, though. I had lived over there for some years and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man. Bro had Ben Clack and shit around this time, like shit. I was. Still in and out of Juba, but I was still fucking with bro though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just was both some young niggas had our time and shit. We had click like that and shit. He had some assets, shit. I had the right niggas, he had some niggas, and we all was on the same page. So we were like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Niggas they gonna lock this shit in and this is how we come. Uh, what was his influence, bro? Because like I, I did an interview with him. I met him one time. We we, we right. stayed in contact and shit, but he was solid, you know what I'm saying? On my end, he ain't never showed me no Flaw shit or nothing like that. So what was like? What would you say his impact was on the city? He had a, a strong impact too. Like he had a hard influence. I feel like y'all movement is together, yeah. but it's like when 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 Kobe passed, it was like 
it, it was a big L for the city of Shreveport. Yeah, it was a big L for the city. And then again, too, that shit, like, they fucked up a lot of shit, too, because it just was a lot of shit going on in the midst of that. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you know, you know. So yeah. that's what I, I just leave that shit at that. Like, if you know, you know. So, like, yeah, no. I ain't going to get no real. You feel for me? For sure, for sure. Now, bro, was you signed to uh, Ray Vix? How'd that come about? Shit, I was probably about, I was probably about, was it, oh, 17, 18. I had ended up, he had hit me up like, man, that shit hard. I'm like, yeah. He like, man, we gonna have to lock in. And I ended up going to shoot the BR and going to fuck with him and shit. And just on some shit, steady back and forth. And I, we ended up just going locking it in. But like, really, what's so crazy that when we had, as soon as like, we had locked it in, I had ended up going, going to jail and shit. And I ended up going fed. So it was like, oh shit, you know, nigga held me down my whole bed and shit. As soon as I came home, shit, we got to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And shit, that's what it really was. We really got a, a real good relationship before the bed. Anyway, the gang in. Yeah. Nah, shit, bro. Shreveport, one of the places where I feel like it's slept on, but I also feel like it, it's it's super violent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel like people be scared to to tap in. Yeah, but you know it, these days how this shit is like, nigga be acting like they scared to tap in, but a nigga go get the grain and act like they ain't fucking with it because they scared to tap in and get to doing all type of little fluke shit, playing out and shit like that. Give me an example of that. Like on some shit like, say for instance, you know a nigga hide in the city, yeah. But but you don't really want to tap in. You on some pride type shit. So you about to uh, see, we got some smoke going on with a nigga in the city. Nigga probably rap beef type shit. So you about to go link up with him type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying on some shit like that. Now I mean, sh- do you feel like it's gay gatekeepers in Shreveport? Huh? Do you feel like it's gatekeepers in Shreveport? Like some people that could take you hit from one level to the next level. Cause like we, in Dallas, we got Bebe on our gatekeeper list. I ain't gonna lie, we put Bebe as a gatekeeper. Type shit, like, yeah, but like, niggas ain't doing that shit in the city. Has, has Bebe ever tapped in with you? Hell no. Why not? Hell in no. your opinion, like, have you ever reached out to him? No, but. I'm saying so, I, you know. It you, was like, because it's like, I was trying to have a team for me, like, I shouldn't be having trying to reach out to him. I, I'm trying to have like a cool little team, like a team that's working with me. You feel me? And, and just gonna link Plug up you and, yeah, with the right people. With him to where I'm I, saying, know, but at the same time, bro, you an artist. Like, right. if this nigga that's doing dealing but with see, artists then again at the same time, it just be like, like, come on, bro. Like, you from the city? You know what's going on in the city? I really like, you know what I'm saying? You hot? I feel like. It's a, it's a reason, whatever the reason may be, I don't know what he know, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I feel like it's all a nigga about what I need. And me or any one of the guys, a, a real touch from Bebe and all the people that he know and been to rub shoulders with him and got to getting in the mix, like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but to go to the top. Especially yeah. this shit, I really, the music and shit, that shit that raw, but you know what I'm saying? If you don't know the right people, shit, you ain't got nothing for real. Nah, facts. But you you do do hella views. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You you millions of views on YouTube with your music. So it's like, shit. Has any labels reached out? Like, what's so crazy? When I first ever got the rapping labels was reaching out to me. I was so young, though. I'm like, damn, type of shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, I just put my tape out, though, about three, four days ago. Yeah. I get my shit about another month. Like the label gonna be tapping in. I'm finna drop a couple videos off my tape and shit. Yeah, nah, I I, I check. I, I did see you drop a tape. I seen it pop up on YouTube or whatever. Uh, one of the tracks that stood out to me was Ratchet City News. Now Ratchet City News, bro, I ain't gonna lie, they be on your ass. They be on your ass. It, it's every video, SOD Lil Man. Like, who the hell is Ratchet City News? And and what you do to them? I be like. I be really feeling like the city anyway. They just really be on some hate shit. Why you say that? I think a lot of people support you though. Yeah, you know, like they say, shit, they love you, then they hate you, then they love you again. Yeah. So that's, that's what it. That's so that's what it really be though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers really be fans. For nigga sure. Don't be one of, you know what I'm saying? Nigga be fans. But you know, nigga don't even be. Hey, if you walked in the room and dude was like, "Hey, I'm Ratchet City News," 
how you think that conversation go between you and Ratchet City News? Man, you on some cop shit. <laughs> um, like, cause you, he be really posting shit like, saying too much, but I feel like it's a police nigga who behind the shit old police ass nigga. Damn, for real? You don't yeah. think it's just a fan of nigga just like, damn? Nah. So how accurate, if you had to say like, majority of stuff that they talk about on that channel, how accurate would you say it is? You know, shit, like, a, a lot of the, a lot of people might think some of that shit be accurate, but, you know, one that some shit sounds so good, you know, people just take shit and run with it, and so with the most stupid shit they already got in their head, and try to come to a conclusion, like, that shit don't be, I just be letting motherfuckers think, like, shit. No, for sure, for sure. Me and the guys, know, the ones who, who really, that, who been around, so shit, you know, and the city, know, so shit, I don't even... That'd be irrelevant right there. Oh, for sure, for sure. Now, bro, like, it seemed like, it seemed like since Kobe passed, a lot of stuff has just been, you know, split up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff, like, I don't know what your relationship is with, uh, damn, bro, I, be, I know these people's names, bro, but I can't think right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. What's bro, uh, Big Nine. Yeah. Big Nine. Uh, it's like y'all kind of been stagnant dropping music though. Mm -hmm. Why? It's like really like, you know, once so the same shit go on for so much, you know, shit get played out. Everybody, you know, paving their own the way, you know what I'm saying? Strategizing in their own mind, trying to, you know what so I'm saying? So is it, is, it, is it still unity? I mean, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, okay. facts. For sure. It's it just like to the point now we shit, we getting grown, so it's like Niggas got their own word. we already know how we gonna, you know what I'm saying, rock out behind one another. But look, you know, if it's shit, then what type of time we on, everybody gonna run it up on, on some solo shit right quick before we just, oh, you know what I'm saying? For sure, 